Investors are hoping for a bounce back on President Obama's first full day in office. The Dow greeted the new president with its worst ever inauguration day plunge, dropping 332 points. The broader market begins the day off 5 percent. Stock markets from Asia to Europe also tumbled overnight. Investors fear that the world's biggest banks are in more trouble than previously thought. The Wall Street Journal reports there are growing concerns that Citigroup and Bank of America may need to be nationalized. IBM is offering a ray of light in what's expected to be a dismal year for tech spending. The tech giant says it will now earn more money this year than analysts expected. It also reported a 12 percent increase in profits last quarter. The company says it's weathering the financial crisis by focusing on service and software deals. And it's being called the largest data breach ever. 100 million credit card and debit card numbers may have been compromised last year. New Jersey-based Heartland Payment Systems says hackers broke into its systems sometime last year and planted malicious software to steal card data. The company says it only discovered the intrusion last week. And that's your Money Watch. Log on to CBSNews.com for more. In New York, I'm Claire Laka.